So verse eight, so Saul disguised himself and put on other garments and went, he and two men, and they came to the woman by night and he said, divine for me by a spirit and bring up for me whomever I shall name to you. So here's the first scene. We have a scene that Saul is scared to death. He apparently goes to the Lord, and again, I'll come back to that in just a minute. He goes to the Lord, the Lord doesn't answer him, so he goes to a medium. He goes to uh, a lady uh, who is uh, a, one who can conjure up the past, conjure up the dead. Now, how did they do this? This was interesting. I just want to take a sidebar here for a moment. He said he's in Endor. She was in Endor. These are little towns that were on the ridges all throughout this mountainous area. And back then, there was no electricity, obviously. And so to reach one of these women, because they had to do it at night. They didn't bring up the dead during the day much. They did it at night. It's a part of the black magic side of this. So they would put lights out in front of their tents and their huts and their houses. And throughout the country, you could see these lights along the ridges and you knew that's where a medium was. And he said, there's a medium over in Endor. There would be these lights along the hills. What's interesting is, you know the verse in Psalm chapter 121, the Psalm 121, it says, I will lift my eyes to the hills. What the writer of that Psalm is saying, I am lifting my eyes to the hills where the mediums are. And it was also a place where the Canaanites, those were all the people that lived there that would do their worship because most of their worship was evil. And so they did their evil worship at night in the dark and they would do it up there. And if you wanted to participate in it, they called them the high places. You would go to one of the high places and you would worship there or you'd conjure up the dead or you'd do something evil in these high places. And Psalm 121 says, I will lift my eyes to those hills. Where does my help come from? That's a question. Many times people read it because the King James Version has it kind of as a statement where it says, I will lift my eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help, as if my help comes from the hills. But what does it say? My help comes from the maker of heaven and earth, not from the hills. We need to understand that the hills are not the place where our help comes from. But Saul looked to the created and not to the creator. He looked at this and said, this is where I'm going. And he went to that. Now, back to the story. Go to